it is time. So today I'm gonna be talking about should you buy and sell from consignments such as Probstein and PWCC auctions. So both Probstein and PWCC auctions are consignments that normally sells items on you on eBay. So you know of the great thing about these is that they can sell the items for you so you can ship it to them and they sell at a specific price typically through auctions and they take a small percentage and you get the rest of the money based off what they sell the reason why people sell items to pro and pwc auctions is because many times depending on what the price of the item is the fee is actually going to be cheaper than just selling on eBay. You also have more people watching it. It's a reputable brand and many people follow that. The other thing is you also can buy from them and you typically get a higher quality card or collectible from buying from them. Um, so first I'll talk about Probstein. So Probstein is a consignment in New Jersey. I believe it's Clifton, New Jersey. So basically how they work is if you want to buy an item, you buy it basically based off of eBay. Um, it's Probstein 123. And I'll leave a link in the video for that to, to find it on eBay. So basically you purchase an auction and they'll ship it to you or you can have it shipped to whatever address based off of eBay so that's great but the other thing is you can also sell through Probstein uh, which is something I typically do and basically the consignments are for a price range so anything below $10 it is going to be a $1 per auction charge plus 8% of the final sales price. Uh, if it's 10 to $25, you know, you're going to get charged 85%. You know, eBay charges normally around 13% for items. $25 to $49 is 86 you get 86% back, so you get charged 14%. Uh, you know, 50 to $99, it's gonna be 87% that you're gonna get back, so you get charged 13% of final price. Really, you should be selling items starting at $100 or more because it's gonna charge you 88%. And, well, you're gonna get 88% back, so it's only gonna charge 12% off the final price. And definitely $1,000 is $2,499, $2,499. That is, you're gonna get 89% back. Um, so you're gonna get charged 11%. And then if it's over 25%, I mean $2,500, then you're only gonna get charged 10% off the final price. And if it's even higher than that, so if it can go to around $4,000, they'll only take 9%, I believe it's over 5,000 or 5,500 or more, um, they'll only charge you 8% off the final price. So obviously when you're selling higher item cards, um, and the higher item, higher price item collectibles, you want to go through Probe Steam. They they do cards and they do seal wax, and you could do raw cards, but it takes it takes them longer to post them. Um, don't send in junk. It's good to make sure you sell in the real thing. Um, it's better just to have things authenticated. So normally how it works is if you want Probe Steam to sell something for you uh you can email them and then you ship it to you email them like what cards you're sending to them just so they can have a 
know of like, oh, these are cars, and you probably want to send them the tracking number as well. And then you send it to Probstein123, uh, PO Box 1079, Clifton, New Jersey, and zip code is 07014. And the email address also is probstein123 at gmail.com. The eBay store is probstein123. And their phone number is 973-747-6304. When you send them the cards, some things that you want to have added, and you should send us an email, is your PayPal information, because they normally send items through PayPal. The other thing that you need to be cognizant of is that they normally do seven to nine day auctions, and then they pay you probably a few days after the seller, the buyer actually pays for the item. There are times when items are not paid for and it's about 20 days, if they don't pay for it, they relist it and you go through that process over again. Other things to be cognizant of is that many of these items may not be posted for auction for a week or so. And the reason why is because they're just getting so many things. Uh, they have a limited number of people working and they get so many cars and so, so many things that it's very, just very hard to keep up. The other thing is you also want to make sure that you are keeping track of the things that you sell from them because they send you, they should send you that the items that you sent to them that, that were sold and the breakdown of how much they cost and how much money you're getting back. You want to keep records of that just so when they do send you the money through PayPal, because that's how they pay you, they send you the money through PayPal you can properly report that on taxes and you understand like what you bought and what you sold for. So that's something that very, is very, very important. The other thing is if they're waiting a while and you sell a significant amount of cards for a significant amount of money, they could just send you a $5,000 cash advance and they'll send you the rest once everything else is paid for. Um, so be cognizant of that as well. And it, the issue is it takes them a while for them to respond back to you. They just get so many emails, they got so much going on, trying to post, sell things, ship things, because they're gonna be, when you send it to them and someone buys it from them, they're gonna be shipping it and do the insurance. You don't have to worry about any of that. You don't have to worry about returns or anything along that. So that's something to just pay attention to. Uh, the other seller is PwC Auction. And to be honest, they sell for a higher premium. You can buy things from them, uh, but a lot of times you're gonna be paying things for a premium. They do very high resolution scans of their items. Uh, they have a website. Uh, Probstein doesn't have their own specific website, but PwC Auctions do have a website. And the website is pwccmarketplace.com. And the great thing about them is their location's in Oregon and they have a vault. So you can buy an item, let's say from Probstein or somewhere on eBay, and have it sent to your PWCC vault. It's actually free to create a vault um, and you can have it sent to them and you don't pay any sales tax. That's very important for high end items. So if you're buying something for $800 or more, I suggest you want to send it to your, the vault. It takes about a month for them to check in and scan everything and for you to see it in your vault and you make an account and you can see it on your PBWCC account. The issue is it, it does take a month and then at the end of the month, they'll send you a bill for processing fee. And I believe it's about 
1% for every month that you hold it in a vault. And the other thing is you can have it after a month or after it's been checked in, you can have it sent, mailed to you. Um, that's also very helpful as well because you can have a large number of cards and then you just have them all sent to you. The other thing is BWCC, you can do two things. You can have them sell items to you. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm gonna back up right quick. Another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're buying, which is very helpful if you buy from PWCC Vault, um, you can also save on shipping if you're buying from another PWCC Vault um, because it's already there in that location so they can just do a transfer, which is very, very smart to do. So I would let them know and they so they can send you an invoice so you don't have to pay shipping. And you can say shipping and you can also save on sh tax. Also, the other thing that, that's really good is you don't have to worry about it getting lost. Um, the items are insured, which is very, very important, um, just in case anything happens, but the, it rarely, rarely happens. You can also trade items with other people who have them in their vaults. And also you can put it up for their PWC auctions. They have something called a flash auction that you can sell it pretty quickly. Um, or you can post those, buy it now. Those things are both useful. Um, I will go over pricing and you can do seal wax. They take seal wax and also they take, you know, cards, mostly graded. They, they do take ungraded stuff but you can't sell the ungraded cards through pwcc all right so fifty dollars or less it's uh five dollars plus ten percent and then you have fifteen percent for anything two hundred dollars fifty to two hundred dollars they take thirteen point five percent final sales for anything that's two hundred to a thousand dollars and then this is where you should start thinking about selling it for PWC. So if it's selling for $1,000 to 2,000, 12%, 2,000 to 3,000, 11%, 3,000 to 4,000, 10%, and then 4,000 to 5,000, 9%. And I really suggest if it's $5,000, um, they're gonna take 8%. So highly, highly, highly encourage you to do that. Um, the other thing is they have things for wax prices. So wax prices are actually a little more favorable. In a sense, um, because you won't be shipping this. So, you know, less than $100 is gonna be $10 plus 10%. 100 to $200 is gonna be 20% they're gonna take off. Honestly, it's probably just better to sell seal wax here that's anywhere from 2,000 or higher. Because 2,000, about 5,000 is 12.5%. Anything over $5,000, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna take 10%. Uh, and, and it's unopened wax. So these are the things that you want to look at. Memorabilia is similar as well as far as prices. Um, PWCC is a very reputable company and then they also check and make sure things are authentic um, so you're not selling fake things. Pros thing is actually hard to tell sometimes. Uh, the other thing that you need to pay attention to is PWCC has other resources where you can do market research and I think they have things you can check you know, what things are sold through PWCC as far as auctions and buy it nows um, since 2004 for different cars in our catalog. You can also, you know, take out a loan if, if you need to. Um, they do a lien based on what assets you have in the vault and so where you can pay out, pay for a car. Uh, I think PWCC is definitely one of the leaders and the head of their game. Uh, when it comes to trading cards and memorabilia. 
and I think they're gonna continue to lead the charge. So, and then you have the monthly auctions that they sell items and those are normally pretty big and they normally sell for a pretty high premium. So I strongly suggest PWCC Vault. I did it because, you know, the sales tax, you just save so much money. Um, and I have to suggest that you should definitely look into, you know, buying and selling through Probstein and PWCC. Um, they are not paying me anything to talk about them, but I think it's gonna be very helpful for collectors um, and investors to find what they want and meet their goals. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and please comment. Um, and thank you.